Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good evening to Dr. Faiz Izwan Anwar and Madam uh, Aino Mazia Azman. My name is Nufar Aida Menti Mokpauzi and I would like to present about HTT 660 Industrial Training at Ululukung Hot Springs. This is the table of contents of the slide. Uh, it has the history of organizations, organization chart, customers, services, product, employment details, SWOT analysis, recommendations, conclusion, and appendix. All the explanation will explain on the next slide. So we move on to the organization history. So Ululagong Hot Spring is one of the tourism attraction that has been uh, managed under Balin District Councils and uh, it was uh, located at Kampung Keda Balin Kedah and it was 22 km away from Balin Town. And for the history, uh, the Ululagong Hot Spring uh, started to um, operated and uh, started to develop on 1996 and on 1998 they started to uh, uh, operate it and however due to lack of staff Balin District Councils has hand over the Ulugong Hot Spring uh, to a private management uh, for to be managed on 2001 Balin District Councils has take over the Ulugong Hot Spring for a better management and they started to do the second construction um, on 2007 to 2012 which is the additions of post counters uh, public toilets uh, and other facilities and started on 2012 uh, the Ululogong is uh, started to um, operate it and open to the public and now um, Ululagong Hot Spring has um, provided 35 chalets with 8 dormitory with different price and the entrance fee is RM8 ringgit per adults and 4 ringgit for kids. So as shown on the slide, it is the Balin District Council organization chart. It was a bit unclear but I will explain it. Since Ululagong Hot Spring is under the management of Balin District Councils, uh, it is um, managed under one of the department which is the Tourism Department. Uh, the head of Tourism Department is in Chia Afi Ben Sha'ari and Ulukon Hot Spring also had different uh, department which is uh, maintenance um, department, management department, front office department and also housekeeping department. And um, there are 37 workers at Ulukon Hot Spring and um, some of it is uh, the, the permanent and some of it is from, from the contract and that is for organization chart so on this slide uh, it shows on the customers Ululago Hot Spring uh, has received a lot of different types of customers and one of it is the family the educational institution the governments and the private and for the family they are usually coming on weekend and they are taking break from everyday routines and they are having a family day they usually are um, coming for staycations with their families uh, for two or three days maybe and for the educational institutions they are usually coming from the school students the university students such as UITM, UTHM, UUM and others um, educational institutions they are usually uh, coming from uh, coming for a motivational camp and also others event and for the government they are also coming to the Ulugo Hot Spring um, for uh, for a family days, for event, for uh, seminars, event and something, and one of it, for example, it is coming from the tourism Malaysia, the from PDPBD, Kementerian Kesihatan, um, pejabat polis and uh, others um, uh, government uh, institutions, and for the private, uh, usually they are having. Um, shooting wedding wedding shooting and um and also um a company trip uh and uh, such as convoy and okay on the slides i will talk about the services and product offered by the ulogong hot spring their main uh, services or product is of course uh, the natural hot spring water and the main pool uh, temperature is between 50 uh, to 60 celsius and they just not cater one uh, pools but 
uh, they have eight pools to cater high demand of visitors and each pool has different temperatures that's suitable for adults and kids and next they also provide accommodation started from different prices and also different types of rooms um, they offer 35 shillings with 8 dormitory uh, started price from 135 ringgit to RM 300 ringgit and it can cater to 100 uh, visitors at one time and other facilities they provide is uh, they provide you with seminar halls, packages that you can rent for half day or full day and um, they also provide camping sites they also uh, provide you with um, others uh, seminar halls and um, meeting rooms and for other services for that is uh, they also offered you jungle trekking and hiking experience which means if you stay uh, at the Ulugo hot spring uh, you can choose to um, uh, to jungle trekking or hiking and they will guide you so on this slide, I will talk about the implement details and there is some of work that I have done during my internship. One of it is the housekeeping. I have learned on how to make a bed, change the linen and I have to, um, since they have different types of room, they have different types, uh, they have different ways to decorate of each rooms. And I also have assist uh, the guests. Uh, I have bring the customers or visitors for site visits and um, explain about the Ulugo Hot Spring to them and other work I have done is I have take part on the handle event I have um, I have made a preparation for the government uh, procurement uh, management meeting with the chief assistant of financial officer state and I have prepared for the materials I have prepared for the decoration of the seminar halls uh, material for the meetings and so on so um, I also take part some uh, take some part in preparation of majlis angkat sumpah for a uh, new Ali Majlis uh, for new sessions and other event I have handled is um, I have arranged uh, events for um, Ali Majlis and ESCO and um, other event is um, uh, welcoming the weekend and uh, the Kedah Tourism the um, Tourism um, Department I will continue with uh, if I would address the communities. Um, I also have done the front office work. I have learned on how to pick up the calls, how to greet the customers. I have also um, uh, prepared reservation books and take reservations from customers and others. And I have also uh, calculated income, which means that uh, I have uh, done some accounting works, which is I have uh, calculated for the ticket sold uh, income uh, for uh, for for each month and uh, with the guides of my supervisor and other work is I have done is I have updated uh, information board which is I have added new information board uh, information to the information board uh, that is not just at Uru Hot Spring but also other tourism attraction under the Bali District Council which is um, I have updated the new um, the new information on the Rumah Rehab Bali, I have updated information on Gunung Bali and um, also at the Bali, Dutch, uh, Bali District Council office uh, also. And other is this, uh, I have also um, have been transferred uh, for a few weeks at uh, Bali District Council to help them to uh, settle down the assessment door tax, uh, which is I have to uh, print out uh, some of us uh, like 7,000 of um, assessment door tax and um, divided it to different state and region and also have to uh, fold it and uh, update some mailing and uh, the new properties uh, address um, of the uh, Bali district. On this slide is about the SWAT analysis. I have done some SWAT analysis on the Ulugo Hot Spring uh, and have come up with some uh, SWOT and 
we will talk about the strength first. Uh, the strength of the Hulu hot spring is uh, it is the only natural uh, hot spring that provide accommodations and and uh, the, they also uh, have the good qualities of natural hot spring water which means from the smells of the water, from the temperatures of the water, it is safe and uh, suitable for visitors. And we move on to the weaknesses. Um, the weaknesses of the Hulu Hot Spring is they do not provide uh, you with online booking. If, uh, you cannot find them on a website, on, on Agoda and so on. They also do not have online payment, which is they, you have to pay um, cash and they do not receive it in any other forms and they also lack of marketing creativity the website uh, is quite bored and not interesting and quite uh, outdated and that is the weaknesses and we move on to the opportunity um, uh, what I can find and see is that we look at spring can become a hat and uh, and wellness center, uh, which means it can uh, attract uh, visitors not only from Malaysia but also from other uh, countries as well. And that is one of the opportunity. And move on to the threats. Um, what I have found is health hazards. Uh, they have uh, an issue before, which is the cases of rotavirus cases at the Ulu Hot Spring. So it will become a threat to the places. And they have to maintain it in a good condition in order to prevent it. And other threat is it was located in a rural area. It was uh, quite um, deep into a, a rural area and a quite um, a bit... Um, uh, and it is hard to uh, find it unless you, you use a base or something to reach it. And uh, one of the threads is other threads is outdated uh, room interior design. The interior design is uh, quite outdated, but however, the price is quite um, uh, high for for the room looks like that. So I think that is some of uh, SWOT analysis I've done uh, at Ulu Hot Spring. This slide is about some recommendations and. Um, this is uh, my summary recommendation for the management of uh, Ulu Spring. So the first one is to provide all the payments. I have seen uh, cases where the visitors have not enough money uh, to pay cash and uh, they have to go out and find an uh, ATM machine that is 22 kilometers away. So it has become a difficulties. Uh, so I hope they provide uh, all the payments and I also hope that uh, I also like to recommend them to uh, promote uh, the Ulu Hot Spring on the website for uh, easy search, which means uh, uh, any information and uh, the, the pictures of the room, the visitors can uh, look it at the uh, online websites such as the Agoda, the Traveloka, the Booking.com. So it will become easier for them to book and um, look up, uh, for the information there. So others is about uh, to include breakfast uh, and provide uh, cafes for visitors. Uh, since they do not have the um, uh, cafes open for 24 hours, uh, they also do not uh, include breakfast uh, in the price of the rules. So I would like to recommend them to uh, include it. And the other uh, recommendation is to change ticketing system to a scanning ticketing system, which means that they do not have to here the tickets, they just have to scan the ticket and it will be uh, easier for them. Uh, and also, um, uh, some other recommendation is uh, to build more uh, team building areas and um, team building areas to attract more visitors, which means that they should um, uh, provide with not only pools but also. Uh, such as flying fox or others uh, facilities uh, to to attract others uh, visitors and more visitors come and uh, the others um, recommendation is to provide updated facilities and make over the room interior which means that they have to uh, they have to update it the facilities over there and also uh, make it more interesting room and 
beautiful uh, worth uh, for the price uh, so that is a uh, recommendation uh, for the Ulu Gong Spring Finally, to the conclusion, what is I can conclude uh, during my internship is that I have um, received a lot of new knowledge, I have gained new knowledge, I have uh, got a new information, a lot of information regarding on how to uh, manage the places, on how to handle event and so on. And uh, it was a great, um, not three months, but uh, with additions of uh, two months more according to according uh, due to COVID-19 I uh, have to extend uh, the internship but it was quite an uh, enjoyable uh, internship life and uh, for the conclusion I would like to uh, suggest for the Ulugong uh, Hot Spring to look onto some recommendation I have done uh, for these places to ensure that um, to to uh, which mean to upgrade and to make them a better management and to attract more visitors and uh, also um, to gain uh, more income since it is a, uh, a great uh, natural attraction tourism attractions that uh, everyone will love it so that is all from me thank you so uh, this is the reference i have uh, been used uh, first of all it's Bali district council official website and also the official Instagram uh, on Google Hot Spring to look onto the pictures and new updated activities. On this slide, this is some of uh, activities that have been done. Uh, this is not all the activities, but uh, some of um, pictures that have been taken during my internship.